actually last weekend would have been the 37th anniversary of Graham Parsons' death. Um, died September 18th, 19th, depending on how you look at it, of 19, 1973. Have you found that kind of, it's surprising that this kind of cult of Graham Parsons and the International Submarine Band and the Flying Breeder Brothers has continued to kind of grow? Has that been surprising to you? Or you've kind of expected someday no, of course, you never expected it, it. Um, uh, and it, and it has grown. And a lot of it, thanks to the emergence of that sort of, I don't know where was it, mid, mid '90s, later '90s, um, re, rediscovering of him by a lot of those um, all country rock type bands who sort of. Um, rehabilitated him uh, and um, I actually just played last week at a, at a festival in, in Georgia that I'd highly recommend to anybody to go up in Graham's hometown of Waycross, Georgia in South Georgia and um, fantastic uh, standard of music many 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 people that you've never heard of and who are absolutely great and unadulterated and really good um, and uh, but I, I have been creeped out a lot because the thing about that guy you know Graham I mean you know it was more, it was more you know he was just sort of my buddy um, and we went uh, uh we did a lot of the things that he's never remembered for together, uh, like camping. You know, do you, does anybody ever associate that with Graham Parsons? Like camping? Like Boy Scout camping and fishing? We actually, you know, went camping and fishing and stuff like that. Um, and had a, a load of really good laughs. Um, of course... Um, it was a t in a time period before um, his uh, disappointment began to dominate uh, him. The thing about um, the Beatles can be blamed for unleashing uh, Dan Penn, who I think played here last year. Did he? Yes. Or did he cancel? Yeah, no, I don't, he played last year. I don't yeah. know. I, I thought... A lot of people cancel in the last minute. He was also they on the get... panel. Well, Dan Penn said the first time he heard the Beatles, he said, this is bad, man. This has unleashed thousands and thousands of bad guitar players on the world. But the thing that I feel about the, about the Beatles and that, like big money, big success and everything like that, it unleashed a lot of unattainable expectations uh, um, on musicians uh, they began expecting too much and a lot of people became very disappointed much easier than they really should have and I, I think really you know Graham suffered a lot from that like he really tried hard but he just kept uh, failing you know because he, he, he really did you know each time he got involved with a project or a deal or an album or something like that. It like, you know, was like going down in flames. Right, so I can be right as far then. Yeah. So he's probably looking down, smiling at all this attention. He'll forgive me. I mean, you know, come on. Okay.